Hey, what's going on? Um, I'm Nate from Darling Parade. Darling Parade. Hey. These guys are also in here, but they're in the heat of, heat of Madden game right now. <laughs> All right, before we go in the bus, let's check out the backyard. Uh, we got a shed. <laughs> we just cleaned this today. It's looking really good. The outside, oh, yeah. crap. This is embarrassing. <laughs> The shed connects to our storage facility for all of our stuff. So, um, yeah, um, some yeah. work gloves, you know, some Scotch Bright pads. Just changed our oil a couple days ago. We made a bit of a mess. Yeah, this is it's actually a, a bag full of containers of oil um, that we felt bad leaving <laughs> in a trash can somewhere. So we're gonna leave them uh, in our trailer that way. Or an auto zone, yeah. or something like that. Or an auto zone, we'll do that. Um, yeah, like most sheds, you got tool bags back there. You got like things like saws, saws in case just you need in case. To saw something in half. I don't know. That, We've been know. watching a lot of Breaking Bad and like <laughs> different shows on Showtime and things like that. Let's see. We hang up our towels to dry. Um, coats for whenever we go from season to season every other week. Usually, every time we go through New York, everything falls off of that rack. Yeah. Just everything. Because roads are just because, terrible, yeah. so bumpy, and you know. And then this happens. Yeah, you can see inside here we keep some fun ripstick action Activities. happening, and then also that's where we keep all of our guitars in there. But we just live it into the venue here, so yeah, they're all inside. In yeah. All yeah. right. You wanna go let's, on into the house? Let's welcome him into our humble abode. People like to write messages on the back of our vehicle a lot, you know, trap house approved. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means, but it's probably something um, really bad and needs to be edited. We can't, we find we can't wash this thing very often because you have to have a truck wash or something like that. So if you come on into the main living area, this is where um, all the fun time all happens. All the madden happens. Yes. This is where Dustin gets really madden at Casey because he always wins. It's I'm mad terrible mad at losing. Casey. Yeah. yeah. I'm terrible at losing. Yeah, Men. all the time. But yeah, this is this is the bus. Uh, this is the bus. This is Gus. Actually, Gus, Gus is his name. Gustavo Parade is his name. Something important about this is that we we bought Gus uh, as a public transportation bus like six months ago, something like that, and it was totally stripped out. It had the regular chairs in it for, you know, taking people to work the airport. Yeah. yeah, to the airport. So we stripped it out, and we have started renovating the inside of it. It is not done. It's very half-finished. You can see the space foam, we call it, on, on our roof. And it's actually falling down. It and we need to put a little more glue up there, I think. No, uh, dude, there, it's fine. There will be a material there covering up all this space foam. Eventually. We just have not, we haven't done it yet. We had to tour. So um, we got it as livable as possible. Hence yeah. why we still have plywood on our floors. True. That is, that is the meaning of hardwood floors right there. Yeah, it's very, very <laughs> tough. But basically, if you're ever going to be on any type of Apollo mission, this is what protects you, you from space. That's what they space. Make, used to make the astronaut suits out of, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Makes so, you feel like you're company. on a space shuttle. <laughs> same company. They just make bus insulation now, yeah. But we had to get creative about how we were going to um, keep our, like, lunch meat and stuff cold. You know, we used to keep it in a cooler, but a keep cooler. it in a Yeti <laughs> now. A it's a Yeti cooler. It's not a cooler. It's a Yeti. It's a Yeti. Where's our Yeti deal? That's our fridge. Um, yeah, and, and it keeps stuff very cold. Um, it smells like a bologna in there. All of our Kool-Aid and stuff, and our mayonnaise. <laughs> Kool -Aid and Do you mayonnaise. smell all that bologna? Which everyone knows, mayonnaise never goes bad, so I don't even know why we have it in that cooler in the first place. Regular items that need to be less cold go in this. Um, you keep six packs of soda in there, and uh, water. Green, green, tea, green tea. Water. Water. Uh, diet Coke, which mixes with other like if you have some vanilla you can put some vanilla in it right yeah it's, yeah. Good. it's great it's um great. let's um look at the entertainment center over here look at that it's also you know no, that is not really yes i am playing as the bears we got the bears and the titans we are from nashville it's a heated game yeah that was uh, probably the biggest upgrade that we had to do to be able to keep touring the the main problem we have is that we didn't have an xbox so, <laughs> um now that we have an xbox We'll be able to keep Man. going on tour for a while. You can see we got all kinds of different games up here. Um, these are ones that we've bought in the last week, I think. We usually sleep in Walmart parking lots, so there's usually a GameStop pretty close by. 
So all the good stuff, NBA, 2K13, Madden, um, I don't know what these are, Army of Two. And then the really important one right here is the N64. So it's got an Olympic game in it because I think last time we played it, it was the Olympics. We try to, we try to keep it festive on guests. Yeah. So a little bit of Super Mario 64. You gotta switch it up every once in a while. Can't get spoiled with that Xbox. We play a lot of not only sports, but we like to play Halo a lot. Oh yeah. Um, Lots of Halo. And I'm very we proud of myself. I actually that. started winning a few rounds of Halo the other day, um, which doesn't happen very often. Well, the next part we'll have to look at is definitely the pantry. It's got everything that the band needs to tour with. Including um, three kinds of peanut butter. It does. <laughs> uh, Germex, which is almost gone, so you know we're clean. We've got almost every brand of peanut butter that there is. We got the crunchy, the creamy, uh, and then we also like to keep um, some honey to make the sandwiches really good. If your sandwich starts falls apart, we have tape. <laughs> What's going on right there? If you, the food doesn't make you tired, we go ahead and keep the z -Quil up there just so you can sleep better at night. But yeah, we did tour in Florida on this tour. Um, so these are still some oranges left over, although they're getting moldy. They're just getting soft, really. I ate one this morning. I'm Feel... not afraid of it. It was still good? It's still good, yeah. Oh, well, just the outside that's moldy, case. not the inside. Put them right on back up here. <laughs> we keep coffee. We have a coffee pot. I'm um, in here, and I think Nate brought that. You brought that from your apartment, didn't you? I did. It's been nice to be able to not have to go into a gas station and, and make it there. It does save yeah. money. If you ever get tired on the road, get some Spark, spark. right there. Spark. Um, really Sug great energy sugar drink. Sugar-free, low calorie, and you just energize for hours. It's great. It's yeah. fantastic. Advocare, check it um, out. We go through about a case of water every day. We have been buying a couple cases at a time and we have to stop at a Walmart or somewhere every couple days. And we buy usually buy a couple loaves of bread too every time we stop. Don't worry about all the plastic that we're using. We do recycle the bottles because every one that we drink gets filled up with pee. So I can't do that. Buy it's tough. It's, it's tough <laughs> I had to buy a, I bought a poncho once. I tried I, that. I literally almost every you. morning I wake up and I just start scrounging the bus for an empty water bottle. I dig through the trash can and... <laughs> I hit the jackpot this morning. I woke up and I just reached my arm around under my bunk and there was an empty bottle and I was like, yes, I don't have to get up. I've gotten to where awesome. I keep a full bottle of water to drink and then I keep an empty bottle of water in my bunk in case I gotta get up in the middle of the night so I know there's always one right there. I so don't I drink do yellow Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> For that reason. This is our Aria poster. It's our, our tour with Aria, which is what we're on right now. Um, so they're good buddies of ours. We make good friends. We got a uh, Ron Burgundy on the back wall there, just to keep the spirits high. You know, I mean, you can't not look at that guy and at least smile a little. We walk bit. past there to go to bed at night, and it just puts a little, just a little smirk on. Look at face. him. He's just so dang happy in that picture. Spilling a martini, <laughs> partying hard. We've got the microwave, oh, which is a, a big step up from when we used to be in our old van, who we love, and she is named Irma. Irma. We had to send she her died. to the farm. We're very sorry. She didn't <laughs> die. She, just, no, she didn't she's die. Probably, she's she's, she's on the loud. farm. And then we make some coffee. This is from a couple days ago. Still good. That's why we got the microwave. So it's a little ice in it, a little creamer, you know, yeah. whatever. This is where I get ready. There's a mirror in there. Day. I'll usually, if I can't get a shower, I'll go and I'll just dump a <laughs> bottle of water on my head in the, a parking lot somewhere. Dr towel dry, and then the you know, a little bit of hair action going. It's been really nice not having to figure out where I'm going to go in the venue or somewhere to fix my hair. We put a, a makeshift mirror in here until we finish this whole thing out. This is where we hang our clothes and stuff. Casey uh, keeps his drum heads down here and uh, also other things. We have ping pong. It was our housewarming tennis. gift from Aria. They're yeah. Really sweet. So Still they out. apparently thought we lived in a bigger house, mm -hmm. but this one will do just fine. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, some more food. There's a heater down there and Casey and Dustin's clothes. Really nice leather jacket there, Casey. Thank you. Yeah, so this is where we really live. Um, we have a six bunks that we built uh, back here and two of them are not being used right now because we're just a four-piece band so we are using them to pile all of our luggage on which is amazing uh, as you can imagine someone laying in the bunk we, we get in here and this is what it looks like just get in the bunk and yeah, lights up here you can turn them off and then you just go to bed so there's a plug-in awesome. we uh, we ran some wiring for plug-ins in each bunk everything you see 
um, was about three or four months of um, nine to five, pretty much hard labor to, to get it to this point. Dustin keeps a uh, hidden pantry back here. Box. He's got his own stash Snips. of everything he needs to keep going, which <laughs> are Doritos. And he eats a lot of green beans, you know, yeah. the green giant. Yep. Green giant. Um, granola bars and Ritz crackers some oatmeal and some tuna and that's basically all you need. Under the bunks we hide things like guitars uh, just in case we want to write some music or we want to play kumbaya around our Walmart campfire sometime. Um, we just get the guitars out and, and that's what we do. There's yep. another one under here too. Dirty laundry bags. This is uh, you can tell how long we've been on tour because this bag <laughs> lets you know um, how long we've been going, and then what I look like when it's full. What's Sometimes when I get mad, I'll slam the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Should have got the first night of tour. Yep. I got mad at everybody. Couldn't slam a door. We don't have a door yet. I don't think we need a door there. It's not the bad. I think the it's curtain changing curtain. Is it's good. nice to be able to change and not you know, have everybody see your butt. And we do have the uh, bus drivers area, yeah. or aria as we call it. Uh, Bus works, so that's a good deal. Uh, it's always a good deal to make sure that your bus works before you try to leave. We play music through this really um, technical sound system that we have worked up right here. It's great. We actually were ready for a CD player um, on the beginning of the tour, and we were supposed to be having a wiring harness shipped to us. People have to ship you things to different venues, and sometimes it just doesn't make it, and now we don't get it. For the next month. I'll tell you what we do have. We do have some bump. We Not in the trunk. Bump, but we do have some bump. We got the goods. We got infinity speakers. We got a Pioneer sub over there. And Courtesy of our gifts. producer, John King. Yes. He's an awesome guy. The only other thing I can think of is all of these movies. How are you going to make it if you can't watch every movie that's ever been made? Because I have an obsession with buying movies on the road. We had to get used to driving a, like a managing a diesel engine not like a, a gas engine too there's a lot of things that have gone into this vehicle that we didn't know anything about we call it gus's guts he's got an entire just like a it's his brains i think um and that's what he runs off of all these relay switches and stuff it's more expensive to travel but <laughs> we get good gas mileage with this thing surprisingly i think that that is gus i believe that's gus yeah. thanks for coming yep bye See you next time. See you later. Nice meeting you.